All right, guys, welcome to the Fish Blue Water Channel. Day one, Miami Boat Show 2023. I'm here with my man, Ariel Perret, owner, founder of CV Boats. And there is no bigger day than today for these guys. I don't know if you know this, we go back a little ways. So CV is a title partner, title sponsor of our amazing Pompano Beach Saltwater Circuit Meat Fish Series. He's been fishing this, uh, tournaments for years. A lot, there's been a lot of, I think, information that we've shared that has affected a lot of the, the, the design and thinking about the boats. And I don't know if you know this, but I have watched since we've been partnered together. You started with a 26 and 29. At Blue Water Movements, I've seen the development of a 32, a 34, a 37, a 39 and all the time we've been working together and now here today brother for the 42. Yeah. So welcome aboard let me show you the new boat and uh, there's a lot to cover here. So get ready to see something like you've never witnessed before and 42 feet of center console amazingness. All right, all right so we're here in the transom of the boat and the first thing that comes to my mind brother is space. So tell me about like what you guys brought to the back end of this boat that's new and or maybe a blend of some of the other things that we see on the other models. Yeah, so basically the 42 for us was something to fill a gap between that 45 and 39 customer. You know, we actually took and we took stuff from both boats, you know, we, we, we and we offer different configurations of this boat. So that's something to keep in mind. What you're gonna see here today is a double row boat with integrated windshield, integrated rear ladders, this is very much uh, is this, mimicking the 45. I was gonna say, is this pretty much the top end as far as options and the way the boat's configured that a customer could expect, you know, to see this boat? Yeah, I mean, I clicked on pretty much every option on this one. <laughs> click, Went click, down click, the click, list, click, 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 click. click. So, double like click the few of them. Perfect. Right. But no, you know, I really built this boat for what I do. Um, like I was saying, this really falls in between those, those two boats. Another option, if you don't wanna do the double row and you don't wanna have the integrated windshield and all of this, and you're more of like a 39 traditionalist, we offer a single row captain's edition okay. with a slide out cooler or an integrated rear mezzanine seat. And you can do your regular pipe work like the rest of our boats. So, you know, the same tower you have on your boat, you know, the tuna, the I marlin. I feel like I saw a similar version of that in line behind yours while you guys were working to get this ready for the show. Yeah, hall number two will be the captain's edition with the fully piped tower, okay. integrated leg, no integrated legs, I'm sorry, piped legs. You know, completely different configuration. It would be more similar to the 39. I gotta say, if money's no object, I mean, these things are like just stare. I love the color combo that you did with these yeah. chairs on so. the dark gray and the light gray. But yeah. back to the transom. So, so yeah. So here we are. What so do we got? What we do we got? got a for lot space, of room, storage. Yeah. All we, that we, good so, stuff. so if you if you talk about what we did, we really brought the 45, 37, that new layout that's become really popular. The corner wells. Corner wells. You know lets you get really close to the motors. These are the new Mercury V10s. Yes. So, I mean, these are big motors, uh, you know, for a big boat, but completely fishable. You know, I can get around this with a light tackle. Have you, you guys, know. have you guys performance tested this yet with the 400s? Have you had a chance to splash it yet? No, unfortunately, the last motor showed up just days before. Ah. Got stuck up in that winter freeze. It got delayed like 10 days somewhere. We actually thought we lost the well, motor. Well, here's the good news, guys. If you've been on our channel before, which we hope you have, and if you haven't, welcome to, welcome to the channel. We actually f were the first uh, group to go out and fish and film on the 45 with them. If I have his permission, maybe we'll be the first to go out and film on his new 42. So we will be bringing a video in the future to you where we're gonna show you what these bad boys can do on this boat. So, for but sure. anyhow. For sure, let's, let's plan on that. So again, fishability, fishability, access. You can do a rear seat here. My boat is having a rocket launcher built, I'm trying to match the chairs, so okay. hopefully I'll have that in a week or two. Now is this, uh, is this access to like Sea Keeper and yes. what's down here? So options, again, this boat if you wanted, you can, it's optional, right? So you get a Sea Keeper on this boat and we went with a Sea Keeper 5, okay. which is basically the same Sea Keeper 5 or 6, same physical space. What does that mean to the average person? Like I don't know what a Sea Keeper 5 is. It's 5,000 Newton meters of uh, energy, I guess it's what's correcting it. What it means is no roll. <laughs> Everybody's happy. 
no seasickness. So, so it the really si is an amazing The size product. is basically geared around the size of the boat, the Correct. weight of the it's, boat? It's engineered like the rest of the boat. Okay. Uh, if you look down, it's uh, bedded into the stringer system. You know, none of this thing, none of this was an afterthought. We built this boat purposely to house a sea, sea keeper, keeper, even though it's an option. Okay. Okay. The other option. I didn't you, hear, uh, did you say, is it have one or two sea keepers? No, well, one sea keeper. One sea keeper. Okay. The option is if you said, hey, hardcore boat, I don't want a sea keeper. Well, here you could get two more live wells. Wow. Okay. The, the mold is made with two live wells. We actually remove the live wells, you know, the skin, and we put in the sea keeper. So again, both uh, both choices. So if you wanted the hardcore tower, the single row. So now if they go up to five live wells, you would have to eliminate the sea keeper. But so as you know, as our title sponsor in the summer series and fishing all of our tournaments, we deal with you know, a lot of hardcore guys as well. So on this hatch that I'm looking at here, like if somebody, is there an inset for this, if they go the live well route where in terms of, or how yeah, does it's it, completely different. It completely literally different. in the mold, the live walls would come out. Ah. You'd have two live walls side by side okay. and you'd have a whole new hatch configuration oh, wow. with individual openings. Listening was never my best skill set. He probably already mentioned that to me, but. Yeah, but it's, you know, with, with us, you know, it's never about trying to retrofit something. We, we want to design it from the beginning okay. and we want to make it work. So again, dual fish boxes. Uh, on this boat, we I went with the bucket holders. Oh, that's sweet. So gives you a lot of access to all your plumbing, everything below. Now, we also have an option for a drop-in bin if you're more, you know, you want more storage. But honestly, I had so much storage. I really like the bucket holders. I use one for storage, one for garbage. I got to say, really so I run a 39 uh, currently, which I love. I've had it for a few years. Prior to that, I had a 37. And one that's one of the things that I'll say was the shining star of the 37 was the storage that you get out of it. So that brings me immediately to looking at this and hearing you talking about the storage. I can imagine as we go forward, we're only going to see more examples of how great the storage is on this boat just because of what you pick up by these corner wells and I'm sure how the fuel tanks are configured and everything else. Understood. And if you know CV, we don't leave an inch below deck that we don't stick fuel, water, or storage thousand in. percent. We don't waste it. So, thousand percent. so let's take a look. Dual fish boxes. You know, this is a great... So you've got a big box. You can put some, you know, very large fish in. Do you have the length? Um, we also have another massive fish box in the front. We... Uh, I could see, like... You know, even this time of the year, it's Wahoo season. Obviously, you're high speed trolling. Guys back here on the, you got full access, right, guys, to the corners. You're back here, which we just did a video to, three videos to Weston Bahamas. You're working the shock cord, fish is coming over, boom, hatch is open, ice, close it. Close it. Done. I love yeah. that. I yeah, love another that. thing is the doors. So we went with the 45 door, which is an in swinging door. Really nice. So if you're pulled up against a dock on my boat, like I said, I clicked every option. We went to a double you got two door. doors. Okay. So yeah, port and starboard. The starboard door is standard. The port is optional. Yeah. So that one's always there. Then let's talk about tackle station and everything we got going on here. So just like every one of our boats, we give you the fold-down rigging tray. You, you know, you can use this a lot. We moved I, all the switches. I love this pertaining to everything in the back of the boat to here. Really, really helps to keep that away from the captain or somebody up front bumping it. You know, when you been, close this. You been know. there, done that. Yeah. And then we gave you a ton of tackle storage, which is really a nice piece here. Tucks underneath. You have eight of these waterproof Plano boxes oh, nice. and then four of the large boxes. So it really is double drawers, plenty of storage. This nice and neat cleans up. Again, more rod holders, more cup holders. But one thing that I really love is the fact that we can stow this cooler. Yes. So here we have a double cooler split in half. It also works as an amazing rear seat. Comes right out. A really cool feature of this boat is we went to all magnets. I was just so, about to ask what these things were. So if you come here, now you have a very comfortable rear facing seat. So take a seat, you'll notice your, your feet are on the ground, which is important. Your backrest is angled. You don't feel like no, a lot of boats that you're falling out. You know, we're, we're at a pretty steep angle here at where we have the boat set more like a running angle. I love it. And you're completely relaxed in the seat. So their motto is lead the way. And this is a perfect example, guys. I mean, you just look at where we opened up this hatch 
thinking through like how how is the boat get used? What are guys doing? Where do you stumble across issues? You know, somebody accidentally flipping a switch that, that could be your bait well switch in the middle of a tournament that could kill all your bait. Bringing that functionality back here to the guys and the crew, taking it out of the captain's hands. Something as small as this, bringing the comfort, like when you want to go out and just fun fish or have a well, good time of something like this, but also being able to tuck it away. These yeah. seats which have magnets, it's all those, it's the little things that I've yeah. always loved about what you guys do and what you bring to yeah. the engineering yeah. of your new boat designs. Yes. Another thing that's cool is by doing this actuated, you know, a lot of times when we're fishing a tournament, we won't have the backrest and we'll have the cooler slightly slid out so we can park ourselves here. We can keep extra stuff on the chair. Ah. This is gonna have a rocket launcher. That, so right. when, when we get out on the boat fishing, hopefully we'll have the rocket launcher okay. in. Um, and then we'll kind of show you the real versatile of this cooler right. being able to go out and, and again, massive cockpit. If you take a look up here too, guys, I think again, another thing that, you know, we've seen this before, but I do love the feature, which this comes off of the 45 as well, um, having screen functionality so that as guys are here working the back of the boat, you know, whether you're, you're bottom fishing or you're doing whatever, being able to have easy access to see what's going on underneath the boat, I think is super nice. And not having to always walk forward into the console and see, okay, what is it that we need to look at You've got that available at your fingertips right here. And the fact that they're not asking you, how far are we going? How deep are how we? How deep are yeah. we? You know, where are we? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, just look up. Right. All right. That, that's worth it alone. All right. So this is the business end of the boat, man. This is the captain's headquarters. This is where it all goes down. Everything from running those bad boy V10 quad 400s to managing the electronics and everything else. So take it away. Yeah, so here we are, you know, the heart of the boat, the helm, you know, where you spend a lot of your time. Again, we couldn't have made it more comfortable, you know. We gave you, you know, a, the captain. I mean, he can come up here. You can either lean like you were doing, Jamie. Mm -hmm. You can get up here, get a little bit higher elevation. Not that you need it. One thing about this elevated helm is I can see 360 degrees. I'm not tall. Right. You know what I mean? So no, 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 we absolutely. designed this for everybody. Another thing that's really, really comfortable is this step here. You come on up. You get to the helm, and then you can adjust the captain's chair up. You're oh, literally wow, very comfortable. That. You're not leaning forward. On a lot of these boats, you're, you're spending your daily hunch forward. Right. So if you notice, we brought the helm towards you. We brought the controls back. What right. that does is if you think about it, you know, a lot of people are putting controls up here. I, I'm literally just resting my hand on the control. Yeah. We, like I said, we brought everything back to you ergonomically, really spend a lot of time. You know, cup holders, this little piece right here. If, if you, you know, yeah, the big from boat experience, feel, but nothing's out of reach. Yeah, but one thing like that little detail, we designed this angle as a foot rest. Everybody puts their foot on your dash. So yes. now <laughs> we gave you a place to put your right. foot so they're right. not hitting all my stuff. So exactly. when you're up here and you want to put your foot up, there you go. Yeah. That's where you tell them to put it, not on my electronics right. like right. everybody wants to do. Right. So it's a little Absolutely. thing. We gave the storage up detail. here. And again, look at this windshield and this visibility. All safety glass. It really is amazing. No, and I, and I actually, so I'm sitting here, obviously, or standing here, guys, in the second row, and um, the camera guy, I'm sure, will get some great angles for us and some perspective that will hopefully bring this to, uh, to, the, to the screen for you at home. But literally, I mean, what I love about this is, like you said, the low profile and the size of the glass on um, the wind, windshield, I can see all the way out from the second row here over the bow so i mean you literally have your field of view is is tremendous yeah yeah it is and then let's you know one other thing you know we are at the dna of our 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 boat is fishing right so especially south florida fishing sure you know what do we struggle with all the time when we're out there fishing the tournament? where are you going to put your kites right where are you going to put your kites you know so we were building we were adding kite boxes we were doing stuff so on this boat you want to come up here with me come around What's really nice is you can put 20 of your favorite kites oh, right there. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. One thing you're going to notice, no one can store the extra large kites. You know, you can make not this, a, Yeah, not a problem. I can this. put the extra large kites. I can throw, you know, 10 of them up here. Yeah. And again, we didn't really give up anything for it. We just integrated it into the boat and you don't even know it is it's there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got room for kites and other things. You, you know, you want to bring a handful of towels for whatever the case may be or... Or charts, right? Yeah, charts. <laughs> yeah. Charts are old school. Charts are old school. But, but, but yeah, hey. 
You, you know, never know. But again, take, it's really made for the kite. Taking the wife to the sandbar and you want a place to throw a few big beach towels, you have plenty of room to do there that there too. All right. So, so why don't we uh, I mean, this is, I got to say, uh, in, in slicker butte style, this is a 10 out of 10, guys. You guys, you guys nailed this part. And then the last thing I'm going to say, which I'm envious of, because, you know, it's kind of like they say with the old, with the iPhone, right? You know, Apple's not going to give you the 14 Max 10 years ago. Did they probably know what the 14 Max was going to look like? They did. And I'm just looking at these beautiful switches. It's the small things. My 39 CD, which I love, it has the older style, which kind of had the stickers. And occasionally those will fall off on me, but I can tell you, the next boat, these bad boys. I, it may not be a 42, but I'm going to look for a way to twist yeah. your arm and say, yeah. I love that. So, yeah, this is a new panel. We're building these in-house now. Okay. Uh, so, yes, it'll eventually, it's optional, or, you can, or you, you can either choose it as an option, or it will make it standard into some of the boats. But, again, you know, CV will do what the customer I can't, wants. Yeah, I can't see anybody that's not. I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. All right, so let's move to the bow. All right. All right, so I'm here on the bow, and the, the, the secret password is envy, because I am envious of this frigging lounge seat on the front side of the center console, which still gives you plenty of all the access you need on the side, because you've got side door access, right? So, Ariel, so yeah, we are uh, here on the bow. Know, so you know how we told you we, we grabbed everything we loved from either boat, mm -hmm. uh, 39, uh, 45 so we we mimicked the lounger of the 45 I guess we had to make it a little bit smaller but you know we added the integrated cup holders which if you notice when you were sitting your leg did you didn't even touch it no so we figured that this area was wasted anyway so we integrated the cup holders into here made it easy for whoever's sitting yeah, up there that's perfect another thing that you're gonna notice again it's in our DNA rod holders you know we wanted more rod holders look at this I don't think there's Anybody that no, has this many like, rod holders. It was like a silhouette of rod holders as I walked up the bow of the boat saying, okay, yeah. you're not going to have any issues with however many rods you want to carry, whether it's sailfish tournaments, meatfish tournaments, traveling to the Bahamas. You've got a ton of rod holder storage yeah. on this boat. Okay. Another thing that we did, since this is not a cabin boat and we weren't worried about the headroom, we went ahead and gave you a massive cooler up here. Oh, that's nice. Take a look at this. So it's very deep. Um, you know, the idea with this is you can bring extra food, extra provisions, whatever you want, keep it up here, and then you're loading back to the other cooler, or if you just want to supply out of the front. Okay, it's so a great to, option. to make sure I'm clear, so like if I'm a customer that wants a little bit more amenities inside, there's a, there's a different mold or version no, no. on this, or how does that work? No, not on the on what I was saying, since this is not the 45 and we don't have a cabin, ah, we didn't have a headroom issue you. in there. Okay, okay. So we were able to give you this massive cooler. One thing you'll notice is we put two drains because we're going to give you the ability to split the cooler down the middle oh, nice. if you want. Another thing, if you look at the heavy duty gas shocks, again, this is an insulated fiberglass lid. So yeah, can, you're not going to lose all your cold air. You can pick up this, that sound, but that just shows you how solid and insulated yeah. this box is. Again, we gave you big gutters. We gave you a stainless steel catch and some heavy-duty gas yeah, shocks. That, that's definitely Lock it down, hardware. and there you go. So that, again, kind of shows you know, the, the fit, the finish, and what we're doing. And again, front live well. Uh, you have the lounger. This boat particularly has a coffin box. First time I've I have a one. Box. I have one on my 39. I love it. Yep, it's the first time. Uh, we also offer integrated forward seating, uh, so you know we can tailor this boat to whatever the customer needs. You know, it can be hardcore fish, it can be recreational fishing, it can just be a cruising boat. You know, perfect. Well, I mean, obviously that's that's been your all's reputation from the very beginning. I, you know, I mean, I, I think that. Rarely have I ever come to you personally and said, hey, I want to, you know, I'd like to try and incorporate this into the boat and you guys haven't figured out how to make it happen. But so as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm staring and I'm looking at my favorite part um, of the boat, guys. So we're going to do a, a 360 or a 180, I guess I should say. And that is the tower of the boat. Um, obviously, you know, yep. you, 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 you and I have known each other since we're going back over 20 years of yeah, sponsoring and fishing the tournaments and you know you're a passionate tournament guy so I know Ray Rocher his captain is gonna love the gap tower on this thing he approved uh, it already. we got some great we got a uh, some very slick gray uh, custom matching outriggers so talk to uh, 
talk to the guys at home about uh, what's going on upstairs with the boat. Okay, so if you look at this, we, we had the integrated windshield and the integrated legs, and then we brought this tower that really just follows the lines of the boat. Um, we gave you a gap tower, so you can go optional gap tower, you can go optional Marlin tower. Like I said, you can go no windshield. Same tower look out of all pipework like the rest of our boats. You know, we went with the Gem Lux bases because I really do like controlling my outriggers. But then I want to give a shout out to the guys at Marsh Tacky. I like a rigger with a little bling. Mm -hmm. So they color matched my riggers and they gave me uh, all. Uh, it has the traditional like sporty style uh, with the spreader bars and stuff on the riggers. Yep. So they gave me the spreader bars. You know, I wanted a spreader bar, 23 foot. They said, oh, you don't need it. I said, yeah, but I really want it. <laughs> you know? So shout out to them. They overnighted them to me. They got them. The, they did a great job. Again, I have the Gem Lux bases so I can control them from the bottom, but I really wanted that custom look on the rigger. So very excited. If you look, we matched it all. We're going to climb up there. I'm sure we're going to be up there during the fishing time. So yeah. exciting. My, my, my favorite, uh, what I look forward to most is actually putting this thing through the paces like we did with its big brother uh, a couple years back when you guys debuted that. And, uh, you know, I think you know, like you guys already said, uh, this to me, for coming at like for the guy that's currently in a 39, 45 is a big jump. You know what I mean? And I think the 45 brings certain things to the table that may be, you know, uh, appealing to certain people and really important, and certain things that they may be less interested in. You know, now you have a nice option, in my opinion, in the 42, where if you're really not ready either financially or how you fish to make that kind of a jump. Uh, you've got a boat that's got some very comparable fishability, options, uh, luxury and comfort, um, and can go as hard as you want to go on the fishing side. Yep, yep. Well, that was the thing, you know. We, 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 took, we eliminated the cabin, we eliminated the generator, the, so we went to it. This is a strictly an inverter boat, so we run lithium batteries, we can invert the system. But one last thing I want to show you that's brand new to this model. Okay. I'll, actually, I'll mention two things we also brought over is the integrated hose coils with a lid up here. So if you look at that, we gave you fresh and salt water. We oh, brought that from the 45, you know, because everybody on the 39 kept adding hose coils here and there. So we integrated that. We really love that on the no, 45. I love that to where you don't have to stretch anything. Like obviously on my 39, I just have them midship. But um, to be able to have that functionality or feature inside and stowed away and clean, yeah. that's awesome. It's really nice. And another thing, you know, one thing that always I hate to do is give up storage. And I always, Same. if you look at these, ma look, look at this massive box, okay? So you take a look at this box. There's so many things I want to load it with. The last thing I want to load it with is safety gear. So I asked our, our engineering team, we really want an alternate space. Let's see if we can find the spot for safety gear. Mm -hmm. And they answered the call. So this can hold up to, depending on the life jackets, anywhere from six to eight jackets. So if you use the massive commercial jackets, comfortably four per side. Mm -hmm. um, but we went ahead and finished it all. You know how it is. We don't do anything that's simple. So wow. we gave you a nice fiberglass door. This is designed so you can put hangers. Uh, I haven't installed the hangers yet, but this will hold eight of the regular uh, life jackets and up to four of the oversized commercial wow. per side. Oh. Okay. So, so now that opens up my box, gets everything out. You know, you talked about the coffin box. Like I said, I've never put a coffin box, but this bow was so big and so right. massive. Right. I really wanted it. It's another seat. Um, it also mean, has a split hatch, so we don't lose the box below. I've never been on a boat where I've said before, there's too much storage. Because at the end of the day, like you said, I mean, you could be taking a trip to the Abacos and maybe you're going to bring two or three families and you've got 10 or 12 people on the boat. You know, it, you'd it, be surprised what? how fast you start filling what seems to be cavernous holes in boats with 12 people's stuff. Yeah. And so, speaking about that, we also designed something really cool. You know, my pet pee is stuff all over the boat. And when you go fishing, everybody brings what with them? A fishing bag. True. A backpack. Some right. guys look like they bring two backpacks. No doubt. So when we go down below, I'm going to show you another really cool idea to eliminate that as well on this boat. Let's so let's see go it. take a look at this console. Let's see it. All right. So I'm accustomed to the front door opening on the 39. Uh, 
I see obviously on the 42, like the 45, we've, we've got a side door entry. I've heard there've been a few adjustments. So what are they? So this is a completely new design. Okay. And I got to tell you, they really did an incredible job. You know, one of the challenges, if you put a front lounger in, you lose your, you lose your access, like all of, most of our boats of accessing the, the console from the front, That's which right. to me was so comfortable. It allowed me to put rod holders on the side of the console, sure. you know. Then everybody, what they've done is they've, they seem to cut this little hole in a console where if you have to almost be a contortionist to, to get, get in there. and out. Right. You know, one of our design criteria and you know, these things sound simple when you ask for them, but when you have to design for them was, mm -hmm. I don't want a twist going into the cabin. Right. I want to be able to access that cabin. I want a nice, simple system. So here you have it. So basically you take your finger, you push down one time, the track system opens up. These are the same tracks we're running on the 39. We have a, a gas shock that pivots in either direction that helps hold it closed or open. Okay. May, Another, I, may, I, may I prove your theory? Yeah, go ahead. Step down below. You ready for this? Not too bad. Not too bad for your first time. Impressive. And by the way, guys, I'm six foot tall, and I have easily, I would say, probably close to a foot of headroom above me here. All right. So. All right. Well, I'm going to join you down there. Give me some room. Come on down. So if you know, what I what I got to tell you is, look at this in here. So it is a head. It is an incredible size console, but you know, it's just not big. There's a lot of thought that went into this. Uh, I want to talk about a few things. Hold this on one second. Honey, I just want you to know this because I built a lot of boats with you guys and I've sworn up and down I would never put a toilet in one. This thing has enough room that it's the day after Valentine's Day. If I ever hit the lottery and I own a 42 foot CV with your approval, I promise you, I will put a head in for you. The head looks small in here, doesn't yeah, it? I know. It doesn't know. even. Okay. <laughs> Carry so, on. So we didn't want to just make a head compartment, right? This is where we, we took on the, that challenge of storage. You know, six bags. You got 12 guys. You got 12 bags, you know. So, and, you know, I don't want them all over my hatches. I, right. I want them in one spot. So this little area underneath yeah. here is designed to put bags. Then you are say, oh, well, everything's going to fall out. Well. This system here opens up and becomes your retainer for all your bags. Ah. If you clip in, you can stack your bags, everything's up there. You guys never, never cease to amaze me. Yeah. Just like, th the somebody thought thing. about that. Somebody yeah. thought about like the boat running, you know, obviously rough water, things move around, things shift, and you guys came up with a solution to say, hey, this is gonna help solve that problem. It's gonna help solve that problem. Now let's talk about the other little things we did. Rod holders. So we designed that there so you can lock down below. If you have some kite rods or you have some right. really expensive rods you want to leave on the boat, they clear. You have a lot of room here. And then, so there's what we call the, the fishing package for the console. Mm -hmm. So you get those rod holders and then you also get, instead of just a closeout panel, this is all Morse tackle storage. And this boat has got the kite tubes. Um, I'm actually going to swap that out for high speed lure storage because mm -hmm. now that I'm fishing in the Keys, right. I always want to have some lures with me. So I'm going to do tube storage for lures here. So, so when you buy the fish option for the console, you get the rod holders, you get the tackle storage here. How deep does that go in? It's, it, it covers all, you can put the small Plano boxes in there. Gives you eight boxes, you know, and we can configure that. And the other thing that, that's pretty cool I have my I, own idea for that. I already I'm forgot. So off camera. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll cut it again. There. Go back to where you were talking about um, Wahoo fishing. Okay. So here you have the tackle storage, like we talked about. Um, this is part of the tackle op, the, the fishing option for the console. You get the rod holders and you get the tackle storage. This particular boat has kite tubes, so if you want to keep some kites. I keep all mine assembled, so I'm actually going to replace this hole with a the system with a uh, lure holder system nice. where I can keep my high speed lures here. You never know when you need them, and it's just a great place for it. I love it. I love it. So let me let me show you a couple other neat things. I told you that this boat runs off an inverter, so if you look forward of you, you're going to notice there's two inverters. I was just going to ask about those. Well, why don't you go ahead and open that hatch right there. This one here? Yep, so okay. that is your lithium batteries that run your inverter. Oh, wow. So this boat has dual inverters because I actually opted to put air conditioning at the helm, sea keeper, 
and, and a couple other things that I wanted to run off the AC. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and did dual inverters. If you're only running a Sea Keeper, you would run four battery versus eight, and you would run a single inverter versus two. Okay. So it's really cool. And the other thing, by, by, by being able to have four lithium batteries, you have Sea Keeper all day. You know, wow. One thing is you're spending that money on that Sea Keeper, and I see some of these boats that can run for four hours. It just doesn't make any sense. No doubt. I'm, in, I'm intrigued. What is, this, what is this door I see up in front of me? That gives you access to your bow thruster and your forward plumbing. Go ahead, you can take a peek. That's really more for us to be able to work on products and... and just service. serviceable, to make yeah. the boat serv as serviceable yeah. as it can be. Yeah, we want to make it, and, and that lets you get to your live wall plumbing, that lets you get to your bow thruster and some other stuff that's up front. I love that. Yeah, I had to ask because I never know what kind of secret compartments you guys are going to come up with. Well, you know, we don't waste any space, so look here. Just like on our other big boats, this is the access to all your plumbing for your head. So now I can control the overboard discharge. Right. I can, there's my macerator. We put all that under there. So yeah. again, don't give up the space. And then let's talk about elect electrical. So I'm gonna shift around in here. And this like is like every CV. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's what we do. There's none better. I mean, I, you know, so, so of that's all the boat. boats that I ever come in and out of, I'm hard pressed to ever see a boat that's got tighter, cleaner wiring and rigging than you guys have. Yeah, it, it's it's part of our, you know, our signature. You know, if you get a CV, we're gonna do a really good well, job yeah, it's on the small details. It's a yeah. testament to your quality control. Yeah. So, so yep. Yeah, it's a and again, plenty of room. So let's go ahead and walk on out and. So if you if you notice, Jamie, you you, you automatically lowered your head to get out, just because force of habit. Well, watch. Right. This is designed. So you don't have to lower your head. <laughs> You're right. Once you hit that step, your head's already clearing this spot. We, we become creatures of habit, yes. right? Based so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And let's go sit up front and, well, you know. All right, so I think you've covered it bow to stern, top to bottom, port to starboard. And this thing is chock full of some great information. Obviously, you know, uh, we're getting this out to you guys in the midst of the boat show. If you have time come down to the convention center in Miami, come take a look at it. And if not, and you're in the market for a boat in this size range, it is absolutely a must see, must consider. So Ariel for, you know, you guys are based out of Medley, Florida, as far as the factory is concerned. Um, somebody obviously that's looking to get more information um, on this boat and others, What's the best way for uh, for them to reach out to you? I'd get on the web, get on our website, take a look. We actually today cvboats.com. Cvboats.com. We're releasing the 42 is going live on the website. We're putting a lot of stuff up on social media. So, um, and also if you come down to the factory, schedule a tour. We've got four or five of these under construction. We have the new model under construction with the you know the single row and all of that. So just come on down and take a factory well, tour. And, and, and if you come to the factory, you're going to even understand better um, the quality, how the quality of product that we're sitting on comes to be because their factory is is mind blowing. So brother, yeah. yep, pleasure. I know you got a busy show. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for being a great partner. And we'll see you for the next Fish Blue Water video.